to see this. I'm measuring magnetic frequency right where I'm sitting in the Amtrak train. We are in Virginia, not that it really matters. I'm measuring magnetic field exposure. The reading is not high at this point at the table and my legs. Look at the craft and the light to the right of it. It is in the yellow. As soon as I measure in the direction of the train wall, the lines jump to an extreme height. The electrosmog meter can't even measure the real exposure and shows OL on the screen, which means overload. I'm sitting right next to the wall was the extreme magnetic frequency reading. You need to realize that I'm sitting in a soup of radio frequency and magnetic frequency, so I'm getting a double whammy. Since the magnetic frequency drops off with distance under circumstances where I could step out of the high exposure, I would do this. But here in the train I'm stuck and getting bombarded. Shielding against magnetic frequency is a different ballgame than against radio frequency. Amtrak needs to wrap the wires in magnetic frequency shielding material like a magnetic shield plate or a gyron magnetic shielding metal film. There is nothing I can do at this point but pray that we don't have any more delays. Take care and stay away from the window seat in the train.